Christmas 2000. The new century is nearly one year old. Noelle is still living in Perth with her kids and with so many other thousands of South Africans. News from the Rainbow Nation is scrappy and not always good, but let's face it, there's no place like home. And Noelle finds living with her daughter and her grandchildren quite a strain, especially when they have a Johannesburg-style Christmas bryflace in an Australian garden. sitting here for the last hour trying to get into this ridiculous costume. Dora! Where is that woman? She's supposed to help me. I must be dressed as Father Christmas so that when the kids sing away in the manger, I can go in and hand out the presents. I'm here. Don't scream. I never scream. When last did you hear me scream? Do we have the time? Come and help me. Come, let me help you. Yes, but I don't want my lipstick smudged. Be careful of my lipstick. Oh, God. Okay, there. You look just like Master Herbert's father. <laughs> no, sis, Dora. Why don't you rather do this? Ah, a black father Christmas is too much for Australian kids to take. <laughs> well, most of them are half South African. Aren't you all? Oh. Stand up. You look gorgeous. Ah, Dora, gaan kak, man. Gaan kak, Dora. Goeiemorgen, Dora. Ja, nie, freestad. What is it with everyone here in Perth? You'd swear you were in Pretoria with all the Africans you hear. And you never spoke Afrikaans back home? Only when I went through customs or talking to traffic officers. <laughs> oh, Dora, do you think Lauren and Barlow are going to separate? The marriage is over. No, I won't accept that. They're just a normal young married couple. All married couples fight, don't they? I mean, look at me and Master Herbert. We never stopped fighting. And then you divorced and he remarried. Shame. I never even went to his funeral. San Diego, California, USA. It's too far to travel to see someone who's not even there. Mm -hmm. Aren't you going to be Father Christmas's manservant, Dora? I beg your pardon? No, you know, in, in Holland they have St. Nicholas and Swarte Piet. Oh, so that's now me, Swarte Piet. Madam Hancock. <laughs> Cookie, how's the sauce? Mm -mm -mm. No, mm -mm. Nimrod, not like that. Oh, this the Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky look down where we lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Lovely, everybody. Now, guess who's coming to say hello? Who's coming? Who's coming? Come on, you know. God is coming. No, Herbert. Come on, Rachel. Jesus is coming. <laughs> Okay, everybody, you can come in. Who is it? Oh, my God, I'm so exhausted. <laughs> After coming all the way from the North Pole, hello. Oh, have you been good little children? Yes. So now you're going to get presents. Oi, wait till Granny gets on her knees. It's my take till Easter. Oi. <laughs> Hello. 
Father Christmas sends his love. Okay, I'm his wife. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and I, oh, she was born to the part. She was always very good at being sweet to kids. <laughs> she tells me she wants to the black baby for democracy. <laughs> oh, yes. Madam was the driving force behind the struggle. Now, you know, Europe. <laughs> oh, look how real she is. Hey, isn't this amazing? Do you know that she's got real tears in her eyes? Her hair grows. Oh, she makes poo. She could probably have a baby one day. Uh, ten to one, she probably talks English with an American accent. All she needs is the latest computer chip. God, her hair even looks better than mine. Oh, no, man, sis, what is this now? Is this a toy for a baby? Do they, in this new century, encourage the babies to start boring in there? in their cribs and their cots. Uh -uh. Oh, no, this I like. This I care for. Computer game. You know, the kids think I can't play the computer because I say to them, listen, I'm just an old lady, an out of caca. What do I know about computers? <laughs> but when they all sleep, I hitchhike around the internet. You know, I would, I would really like to win one of these games, but what do you actually win? Do you think it's somebody's life's ambition to win these games, hey? Oh, what a very, very impressive Useless lot of presents, huh? Oh, and this lovely paper. I swear to God with the cats. You know, I would be quite happy to just get paper like this for Christmas. Do you still do this, Mommy? Every Christmas I can remember you sitting on the carpet, carefully folding the wrapping paper for next year. Waste not, want not, Selwyn. Anyway, look, I'm so impressed by all the presents everybody got. We never have to have so many presents at home, eh? It was a great Christmas. <sighs> Dolly, you look so tired. Mum, it's just TV production. Oh, but your colour's not good. And you're so thin. I keep saying to George, let me come and cook for you. If Dora does the cooking, maybe. So you don't like my cooking? Don't sound so Jewish, Mummy. I am Jewish, so. Yes, but not like that. You don't like my cooking. And oy vey, and sai gesund. You never spoke like that in South Africa. And what about your Han Kuk and Freistadt and Sari Marie? That's also something new. People want to hear what we sounded like in South Africa. We never sounded like that. We hated their language because of what they did to the black people we loved. Partet is over long ago, Mommy. <laughs> Night. Night, darling. Thank you, darling. It's past midnight. That means it's the 25th of December, 2000. Happy Christmas. Oh, and by the way, it's also my birthday, but don't tell Stitch. No. Oh. Sorry, madam. Dora, God, man, listen, it's about half past one in the morning. Oh. Are the kids okay? Everyone is asleep, madam. <sighs> I wanted to give you something. <laughs> oh. Oh. Happy birthday, madam. Oh, Dora, you remembered. Oh, oh thank you, Dora. the most beautiful birthday present I've ever got in my life. <sighs> Dora, email from Soweto. Really? What does it say? I don't read Dora's emails. Dora! Hello. How are you all? <laughs> Come in, madam. Here, Dora. Oh, no, man. When is Lauren going to clean up your room? Look at that. It's okay, madam. But look at all the things here. Yeah, it's a ping pong room. And I'm the intruder. Okay. Here's an email from your friend Victoria. What does it say? I don't know what it says. I don't read your email. They discovered oil in Bloberg Strand. That's true as God. Bloberg Strand. I never saw that. <laughs> oh, no, man. Sis Dora. Read it. No, only if you insist, though. Mm, you can. 
dear comrade Nobantu. Oh, excuse me. Greetings from our new house in Soweto's very upmarket, Macarberville. Hey? That used to be Orlando, now named after the Minister of Defense. Oh, he's gone far. Things have been going very well since the fantastic celebration for the year 2000. The whole of Egoli was lit up. Oh, the TV series. Former Johannesburg. I know, Dora. <laughs> Mama Tandi. Oh, God, this is in Corsa. No, I'm sorry, I don't understand. You should have learned your Corsa from all those Nimrods behind the garage, madam. Excuse me, Dora. I don't know what you're talking about. Her grandmother, Mama Tandi, is very well. Good. Sends her love. Once a kangaroo. A kangaroo in Soweto. <laughs> the new Overland Railway is a great ride. Hey, what's that? Overland elevated trains now free from Soweto City to Mamelodi. Mamelodi? Old Pretoria. Of course. So it's going well, Adam. Is it going well? Yes, it's fine. They miss us. Oh. Especially Mama Tandi. Oh, that feeling is very mutual in the kitchen. Listen, we better go and help Lauren. Every white South African in Perth is going to be here today. I'm glad to be black. I hope some of it wipes off on me. <laughs> <laughs> so anybody phone from home? Well, Michael got a couple of emails from his office in Stanton. And your sister in London. She also saw that program on Sky. And they all say exactly the same thing. The economy is fucked. The mm. rand's 10 to 1 to the dollar. Hey, look, the dollar was mm. fucked way before the rand. Shh, the kids not here. Well, that's time the kids started to learn about economy. Everything OK here? Yeah, come yeah. on. Yeah. Boring old politics again. Australian politics? Oh, Australian politics, eh? What's that? <laughs> what a bunch of assholes. Give me this ANC any day. Well, they're a bunch of black assholes in white ones. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, things are getting terrible over there. Yeah, yeah since yeah. the 99 elections, that old law and order thing has become a bit of a joker. Yeah. People now are being attacked on the national road outside Lanesburg, for God's sake. Yeah. Oh, wasn't that a group of white farmers trying to steal petrol? CNN news. No, blame the watch. That's right. Blame the fucking watch. Okay. Hey, I'd like another castle. Balu, could we have some beers over here for John and Michael, please? And John, cool it on the overt and offensive freedom of speech. What? What did I say wrong? What's Lauren's problem, man? Hey, I've heard her talk about the Kaffirs. Uh, just in time. Kaffirs to the rescue. Yeah, uh, that, that was part of a joke, Dora. It seems always to be part of a joke, Mr. Greenwood. We Kaffirs laugh the loudest. Merry Christmas. What? And then you put it in with all the lovely oh, fresh wear Mrs. Pigs. Hey, Dora, that I understood. I thought it was going to be less here in Australia, but it's worse. Well, it's Bry Flakes. You know, Bry Flakes always brings out the worst in people. Every time we get together as South Africans, I must listen to white people celebrate the fact that they escaped the African Holocaust. Dora, so many of them lost loved ones in the crime wave. I'm the only black here, and I've lost half of my life because of their apartheid system. Listen, listen, my dear, I, I, I'll speak to Lauren. No, wait, now, wait. I will get Lauren to talk to her friends. They will apologize to you. They've got no right to talk to you like that. Oh, but Dora, it's the time of the year. You know, people always behave like pigs at Christmas. Happy Christmas. Oh, uh, thank you, uh, Cook. Uh, Dora, wait for me. Dora. Dora, listen to me. You know I am not an apologist for racism. You know that. I hate it. But these people are so determined to be happy in Australia, they'll blame anybody for for forcing them to be happy in Australia. No, madam. Yes, Dora. They also want to go home. They want to go back to Africa with all the smells and the sounds and the madness that forced them to leave it in the first place. Oh, Dora, look at us. We are old African lions in the middle of a concrete jungle, having takeaway hamburgers in a parking lot. But I thought you were happy here. Doll, I'm happy here because you're here. If I'm an old African lion, you're my game warder. What do you say? I say that your mind is going fast, madam. <laughs> okay, back into the lion's den. <laughs> mm, Nimrod. 
Nimrod. I swear to God, it's not the same. Mama, I'm going to give you a hand. Yo, go go get Abelu, Baba Lega, Bonte, Baya, Windu, and cool your bucos. Patiga Wum Saba, or a Kaliso, Zizi Bosch. Isn't that the story she used to tell us? I still don't know what it's about. It's a traditional cause of bedtime story all about fairies and goblins and angels. Oh, how sweet. Mummy. Yes? Father and I are going to separate. Oh, no, I can't bear it. You don't have to live with him. But he's such a nice man. We just don't love each other. I wished I could recommend a pill or a therapist. I need to be on my own. No, Lauren, you are not going to subject my grandchildren to a divorce. They're too young. They need parents, both parents together. What about my life, Mommy? You sound like my daughter. I am your daughter. What I learned, I learned from you. It was the wrong advice. You were a great mother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Always at the hairdresser or the gynae or the gym or the beauty parlor or the, or the dinner party or the political rally, but never, never at home. But Dora was there. Yes. Dora was there. <laughs> Come on, just one more. She's Come on. Thank you. That is your glass, isn't it, Salwin? Yes. Please try and keep your things separate from the kids. I know it isn't catchable from crockery, but humor me. It's not catchable from toilet seats either, nor from a nice French no, kiss. Salwin, Salwin! Oh, don't tease her! I mean, she's just a silly cow. This thing can be cured anyway. What's the big deal? She's a mother. Oh, please. Let her be. Do we have to go tonight? Definitely. Come on. Come and have a lie down. Okay, Mommy. Hey, boys, how do you spell fucking white racist? Those Greenwoods. I'm going home. I have to go back. I can't live here. But what about your Abbo friend? Don't start with that, darling. He's a Methodist minister. Yeah, but he wants to marry you. They're allowed to be naked with a woman. No, George. Our Dora here is a proud causa. Won't mix her jeans with that of an Aborigine. Are you listening, Romendrik Verwoerd? I'm not in love with him. Ooh, and who's a racist now, Dora doll? Mwah. There, I've infected you. You're going to turn white before the clock strikes 12. Hi, Suga. <laughs> I really miss my piano, man, and all my lovely framed photographs. God, they're all in storage somewhere on the Cape Flats. God, I don't even know where it's been so long. I've got some photographs here, though. There's always time to get my scrapbook up to date. <laughs> Do you remember this one of Selwyn? When he was in drag, hey, to get out of the army. Shame. I don't know which one I prefer, to be honest. Ah, here's a picture of Herbert's mother. Very elegant, eh? I never knew her. Here's Herbert's father. Such an old scoundrel. I think he rather liked me. Shame. Ah, picture of my mother with her parents somewhere in Europe, running away from someone, running towards something, you know, always. Running towards something. Oh, it's too... God, I'm absolutely finished. Madam, um, wake up. Oh, God. Time to get ready. Ah, oh, no, Mandora. Could you let me sleep like this? My mouth feels like an Arab's armpit. It's only a dinner party, Dora. I don't have to go. It's Christmas. I know, I know. Oh, Dora, do you know none of my children remembered my... Your birthday? No, no, actually, I, I was going to say something else. It doesn't matter. Oh, my hair. I mean, you've got to admit, my hair looks absolutely terrible. It's Christmas Day. I'm never going to find a hairdresser. No hairdresser, no dinner. Hairdresser coming up. There you are, darling. You look great. You are so good, George. I swear to God, I've been through millions of hairdressers in my life, but you are absolutely outstanding. Outstanding touch. Mm -hmm. Oh, and thanks for doing it on my head. I also think it looks so lonely on the wig block. <laughs> Lauren's going to leave Barlow, you know that, don't you? It's been coming for some time. Oh, God, the kids. They have us. I don't know. It'll be okay. 
How's that? You've given me a wing. I said, don't give me a wing. I look like a cougar from Sea Point. Take away the wing, George. Take away the wing. Okay. George? Mm-hmm. Is my Selwyn all right? He's with me. I love him. I know. I'm just worried about him. Leave that to me, okay? I look at him and I just wonder if he might not have that, that sickness, you know, that terrible... No. It's not that sickness that terrible. It's curable. It's not fatal if you take the right amount of pills 17 times an hour. But, but then you've just said it. You mean he's got that terrible... But why don't you tell me these things? Because it's under control. Now, well, Selwyn is a grown-up, charming, talented man. Like me. We can handle these little speed wobbles on life's freeway. So why don't you relax and enjoy this evening? You look like a princess. <laughs> I do. A Jewish, African, Australian princess. <laughs> Hi, Dora. How are you doing? Miss Lucy. What you thinking? Well, I'm thinking. I'm thinking how much I love you. Andachasbliff. Attention, please. We'll dispense with the formalities after this little speech and eat and drink till we plat. <laughs> I'd like to drink a toast. A toast to Christmas and the new year, 2001. Do you remember the movie? Da -da 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 -dum. Bum, bum. <laughs> I want to drink to me and my wife, Lucy. Love your new hairstyle, Bob. It's so good. <laughs> and I want to drink to my bossy sister, Lauren, and her husband. So sort out your nonsense. I'll put something in your drink and you'll end up doing it under the table. <laughs> Are you saying all Bailon I need is a good drink? Lauren, not at the table. <laughs> I want to drink to my brother, Selwyn, and his boyfriend, my Morphe Butty. Bottoms up, Brood. I drink to Miss Nobantu. What is your surname, Dora? Fine. Absolutely, yes. And then, because it is Christmas, and God was really in a hurry when she was coming down the production line, she looked down and she saw this angel with her hair in curlers, and she said, Oi, vey! Oh, no, not another Kugel. And on my birthday also. And she called this angel her first Noel. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mommy. Happy birthday, oh, Mommy. Happy birthday, 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 Mommy